Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tochtopia and the Mongol Wars. Last time, we had, uh, well, uh, we won a battle. <laughs> We've taken this river crossing here, and we separated our armies, which in hindsight probably isn't a good thing. But what's done is done. I can't really do anything about it. Also, the Polish captured uh, Tbilisi. That could be a problem. Uh, I believe we're pretty much finished for this turn. Drazo here has quite a long way to go before it actually improves. And still, part of me wants to come down here and capture Corneth. Gonna have to think about that for a little while yet. Because I'm still at war with the Hungarians. Even though they haven't attacked me in a while. By like a while, I mean like three turns. They could. This situation down here concerns me a little bit because I should have kept them up here. Even though we have this you army coming down here to attack John. Edessa, I assume. My master has ordered it. We could deal with that after we took care of the bulk of his forces. But, like I said, what's done is done. Let's end the turn and see how much I get screwed over. Go ahead and speed all that stuff up. I'm hoping for the best and expecting the worst as Egyptian but Egyptian as Egypt buys out more of my merchants because my merchants are terrible and can't hold their own. This is why I generally don't bother with merchants. Okay, so it looks like they're completely ignoring Sarah. <sighs> You will have no okay. Once you are my so the question son. is, are they going to keep coming down this way, or are they going to come down here and strike at Adana? I'll be honest, I would be fine with either, as long as I knew which way they were going. As it is, I can't really place my armies because I don't know where they're going to be. I'll go ahead and just auto-calculate that battle. And apparently they survived that. Alright. Go ahead and bring my horse archers out here. Maybe finish them off? No? This is why I don't auto-calculate battles. Well, Orda has to die. I'm sorry. He still has not a sizable force by any sense of the word, but he has a force. <laughs> and apparently I'm just not going to be able to defeat any of their armies unless I actually fight the battle, which is really annoying. I'm going to go ahead and just start the battle. Uh, it shouldn't be an issue. We shouldn't have a hard time winning. In fact, they may come to me. They appear to be... Okay. Well, they're gonna come to me. I'll go to them. At least with my horse archers. Because they're gonna take forever to get over here. All of them have bows. Why do they all have bows? Ha 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 
I really wish you could play the Mongols in Vanilla Medieval 2. They would be a lot of fun to play as. I mean, they start the game 100 turns later, but I would be alright with that. Especially if I got, like, three or four or five special, fancy, super powerful armies to do stuff with. That would be alright with me. It looks like they're charging out their light lancers. Probably gonna try to kill my archers. Oh, and their general. Okay. I mean, I suppose they are doomed. Let these guys get a volley off, and then we'll move them back. Because I don't want to lose my archers. They're integral parts of uh, fighting these guys. I would rather lose spear militia. Oh, these are spear. They're spear militia. They count. They're just not called spear militia. But they are militia who have spears. There we go. We'll take some losses. That's okay. How are you guys doing? You're not killing them fast enough. Kill the uh, archers. Always target the highest concentration of units when you have archers. The only exception is if you have crossbowmen, because crossbowmen, a good, good unit of crossbowmen are pretty darn good. I do say so myself. Granted, a good crossbowman unit is rare, and only a few factions have really good ones. That's okay. If you have good crossbowmen, you can do whatever you want. The light lancers are pulling back. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay. Well, we I'm more interested in killing that general. Get that dread general out of the picture. They're still getting plinked at by one of the uh, horse archers. <laughs> ah, crap. Well, at least there was only a few of them. But man, they took out a fair small chunk of that. A fair small chunk? Yeah, a fair small chunk of that unit. Probably 20, 30 guys. Just with that one charge. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Alright, let's speed it up a little bit. This battle's won. Our enemy flees before us like uh, a herd of I'll go ahead and end. Like there shouldn't be enough people there to keep the army together, but <laughs> what do I know? The other army had thir seventeen guys or whatever. Yeah, what the heck? Why do these armies just not break? Is, does it have something to do with their quality? I'll be honest, I don't know. I have queues that have stalled. Mosul doesn't really have anything to, that appeals to me. Smyrna... I guess we should work on a town guard here. Can we build anything? No. Oh, right. This is the other castle that I turned into a city. Okay. Edessa. Go ahead and build Leather Tanner. Ikea. Oh, man. That trade. A large bazaar? Sure! I should save up for that Grand Bazaar, I guess. Is that is a lot of knights. Chivaric knights? Ugh. And of course, Hungarians, Hungary, have horse archers as well. Although I don't know how well they compare to mine. 
Okay, here we have a spy coming out of the Thieves Guild. And as you can see, he has a... Uh, a higher starting stat than you would normally have. That is the power of the Thieves Guild. So if I remember... Any... The any any thief any spy that we train we should train out of here and I just want him to go up here and look around spy on these armies I guess so he can get more experience just keep an eye on this area in general I should have a watchtower in here oh it's currently being held by Hungary okay Quillick got winning first surprising no one yes. And I guess we're just going to end the turn and see what happens. I forgot about him. But that's okay. I do that on occasion. I'm sorry, phone? I believe I put you on vibrate. We'll just take care of that real quick. There we go. Hungary. That's not going to work. Pretty sure I can handle that. The Holy Bible may what? Come on. Come on. What don't you like about Tushtopia? Okay, well, in that case, I need to fortify this town. Yeah. Like, I don't have enough problems. My queues are still stalled. What does that give me access to that I don't already have access to? Nothing. It just gives me more. Go ahead and build the armor. I'm not going to build too much more this turn because I want this market to queue up. Orders. I can't construct a watchtower there. Can I construct a watchtower here? No. Great. Continuing tomorrow, mighty Sultan. All right. Now they're coming back. Our enemies will suffer. We move. Yes, no I'm also problem. missing an army. I'm not missing an army. Um, there should be a fourth army by the con. Where did it go? Of course, Sultan. Noble one. And the worst part is I don't want to directly engage them because I would lose. I would lose that engagement hard. I want them to come to me. Okay, I have to do something about this. Because I need to prepare the defense. Oh, jeez. I can't go out and attack that. I don't think I would win that engagement. Let's go ahead and recruit a spy. I need... Uh... For the first time, I need to recruit some assassins. Sadly, I can't recruit assassins here. And I'll explain why when I see an opportunity to utilize that ability. Well, that's good. And just like that, he's a pretty good spy. Bleh. Things aren't going too well. And of course this is the perfect time to wage a crusade against me because I'm currently fighting, you know, the strongest faction in the game. Ah, oh, well, this is not bad. I need all of these guys to head over in this direction. Continuing tomorrow, mighty Sultan. 
Betrayed. Milan. Oh, they joined the crusade. Okay. Holy Roman Empire has the most production. I lost a lot of income. Where did I lose all that income from? Oh, blockades. Right. I think I should probably do something about it at some point. Build an actual fleet capable of fighting. Okay, buddy. You're gonna have to do something eventually. Phone. Chill. Okay. Maybe we have a fix this time? Heck, I don't know. Okay. Kanbatu. You all look alike. So did the old Khan die? Because I think this was the heir last time I checked. I don't know. Poland. Hungary join is going to join the crusade. Milan joins the crusade. I'm probably going to lose Thorazo. In fact, I'm going to have you back off the... Th 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 Thessalonica. The Papal State is at war with me. France is not yet. Spain is at war with me. Uh, the Moors wouldn't be at war with me. Portugal is at war with me. England is at war with me. The Holy Roman Empire is at war with me. Oh, Crusade. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 factions are at war with me. How many are in this game? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, more. Blah, blah. Half. A little more than half. Your wish. Stop that. Before. Stop what being at war. Do you bring us then? Stop it. Bah. Goodbye. Ugh. This is the worst time to get crusaded. Go ahead and spy on this army. Might give you something. I don't know. I'm hoping they attack here soon. I don't... I, I want to start fortifying the city. Does it even have... Okay, it has ballista towers. I don't think I built... Cannon towers there. Can I even build cannon towers? No. It's too early for cannon towers. But I have hand cannoneers. Kind of. Okay, so I have grenadiers. Close enough. That's almost cannons. <sighs> okay, they're attacking me. Fair. It's gonna be me cowering in front of the gate. This whole thing, this whole crusade is going to be me cowering in front of the gate. Well, let's see what we have to deal with. I'm pretty sure there's no horse archer or well, any cavalry. That. <laughs> Da, da. Why can't I talk today? I'm pretty sure there's no regular archers in this city. No, there's only horse archers. <sighs> okay. Because I can never get regular archers. I think there's only a couple of places I can actually build regular archers. All the rest are horse archers. Now let's see how long it takes them to get into this position. Don't be dumb. Just go, go, go there. You go, go, go there. Just stay close enough that you can fire arrows, and but far enough away that 
you don't directly get involved in a fight, you too. Even though you don't fire arrows. Good news, they only have one siege tower. So that should probably be enough to handle that. All these guys, they're going in front of the door. Also, bleh. there's actually only a few good troops in here. What the heck? Whose idea was this? It was mine? Lies. I must have finished the mission and got a couple peasant units because I don't remember building them. And of course my spear militia are garbage because they can't even form the circle circle do. Yeah, whatever it's called. Anyway, they got this. And I might not even have to fight this battle if the ballista towers take out the siege equipment. We'll see. Is there another unit over here? What the heck? Get over here. Stop. Stop hiding. Overall, this battle should be fairly easy. They shouldn't get past the gate. We must act now. The problem is <laughs> the crusade's coming, and I don't have this place defended with a decent army consistency to protect it for very long. Fortunately, we probably still have a few turns left before everything goes horribly wrong. But I have my concerns. And then the phone rings. Every. Time. I know I should just unplug the phone when I'm recording, but I'm always afraid that if I do that, I'm actually going to miss an important call. We must act now. What can I say? I'm such a popular guy. Okay, my horse archers are firing. Good. Well, fine. Well, I don't care. I don't care that they're at my gate with the ram. That's sort of the plan. All right, come on, hurry it up. That thrice cursed siege tower has reached our walls. There we go. Hold now stuff is happening. Invaders. Enemy's ram has breached our gates. Let's go, guys. You can do it. Even with all the peasants. All those peasants scare me. Peasants do not a strong army make. And those chivalric knights are going to be a pain as well. I'm hoping my Janissaries can handle them. Uh, with horns made of clay. We are get in there. The the enemy general flees like an old woman. Oh, well. Attack! Maybe you don't have to get in there. Enemy general has been enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their That was a terrifyingly deep bulge that they created before they were pushed back. Then go in defensive mode. I don't want you charging out of the gate and dying. I don't I don't think these guys are going to get far on the gate. It's hard to say though. And you guys are over there being useless. Come on. At least stand over here and be useless. Alright, end the battle. This is a most crushing victory. I'll take it. Your name will live in marble, and our foes in sand. Yeah, that method of putting all of your troops, like, all of your troops in front of the gate works really well. The problem is, is if they break through there, uh, it's over. Game over, man. Game over.
All right, here is a big one. They are attacking the river crossing and hoping to take it. They have an army strength of two to three. Their general is better than mine, although mine is looking just as badass, or at least starting to. Uh, he doesn't have any traits to help him defensively. Hopefully that's okay. <sighs> okay. Swiftly or slowly, I Hopefully they don't start on the wrong side of the river this time. Still have no idea why that happened. I think it bugged. I think the troops that we saw come in from behind in the previous river battle, that is where the enemy army was supposed to spawn. And those troops were with that army. Why did they spawn on the wrong side of the river? I have no clue. Where even is the river crossing here? Is this it? Or is it somewhere else? Uh, I think this is it. But I can't make any promises. Okay, let's go ahead and move our infantry. Because they have to hold off the brunt of the enemy. We're not going to be able to. We're going to have to charge our Armenian cavalry in to hold them back. But... We'll see. We only have one unit of Turkish archers. Okay. They can go up here. Fire down into there. The Afghan Javelin are going to back up my infantry. They're not going to skirmish. They're going to fight to the death. And then... All of these guys are going to be in the back raining arrows down. In theory. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, it looks like the river crossing doesn't exist. The heck? No, it has to be right here. Couldn't be anywhere else. Let's go ahead and set up my groups here. Actually, my infantry needs to be out just a little bit more. What? Go across the river. Okay, that is the river crossing. <laughs> now stop. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Oh my god. Stop being so stupid. I, I didn't account for them just volleying. Men are under attack. We need Volleying attack. across the river with their archers. That's not good. Uh. That's really not good. That looks amazing, though. That, that is awesome. I am losing way more people.
get in there and help them hold the pass heavy calf. Our foe fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Where is their general? Their general is all the way over there. Not good. Okay. Now that my horse archers have started firing, they've started to take a few losses as well. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Now just stay there. Stay there and gum up the pass. Now they're just gonna keep firing at me, aren't they? Mighty Sultan, the winds of fate have turned against us. Our men are under attack. We need to act. <laughs> Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace! We must turn the wind of battle, or we will taste ashes instead of victory. I mean, most of these people are mercenaries. I don't really care about them. But if things do get dire, I'll need to pull my general back. Our men are under attack. We need to act. Okay, pull these guys back. Pull them back. We need them to cross the river. Stop. There were goose made. They were definitely goose made. And the goose were... I expected them to charge across the river and not just volley me with arrows. So I still have my Armenian cavalry. We must act now. They can apparently fire that far. Okay, that's fair. Well, I suppose they are up on the hill. I also started on the worst hill. <sighs> Pull. I don't want to pull back. I don't think they can fire this far. If they can, I am going to have to pull back. No, they can't. Men are under attack. We need to act. Back. Okay. Uh, guys, you're attacking me. I'm not crossing the river. Now they're crossing the river. <laughs> Now let's get the Armenian archers in there. Not the Armenian archers, the Armenian cavalry. Focus on their general at least. Alright, fall back. Everyone back. Not a good battle. Not a good battle at all. They had the high ground. They didn't just charge across like I expected. Ugh. Not good. So you've chosen to die. 
Now, I know I told you guys to retreat. I sat here and specifically told you to retreat. And now you're gonna get what you deserve. You too. Come on, retreat. Thank you. Sometimes these guys are so freaking stupid. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. We must turn the wind yeah, it was a clear defeat. Ashes instead of victory. So what was my problem there? I should have waited to deploy my infantry to the front. I should have left them start crossing the river before charging my infantry across. Also, my... that army isn't exactly ideal. It's full of mercenaries. We shall be back. And similar. Set watch patrols. We rest here. Okay, yes. Sarah. I want you to fall back to Dessa. Our enemies I don't suffer. think this is working. Infidels to kill Sultan. Let's go ahead and recruit more horse archers. I would prefer to recruit Sipahis. Of course, they executed the prisoners. Nah, um, we march. Uh, How may I serve, Sultan? Or... Orders. Orders. Losing money, I think. Yes, noble master. Hi, might not be losing ma money now after this mess. All right, Quillick, you have decent army consistency. Is there a way we can squeeze you in here in such a way that they would only be able to face you with one army? That would probably work. If I can just keep them if you from punch, capturing a city or gaining family members, they'll eventually fizzle out. I have so many bandits roaming the land, and I can't deal with them because I'm dealing with this. Anyway, that's a problem for next time. Uh, things have taken a turn for the worse, at least at the moment in the Mongol Wars. Hopefully we can pull it back. It's not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be, though. And now we have the Crusade to deal with. Anyway, until next time, hope and dream for Tushtopia. <laughs>